Oh, dear librarians, uh, this morning I uh, went on my Facebook and I saw the group called the April 12th group. And I will be glad to be a part of that group so that uh, April 12th will become a memorial for our nation, a memorial where we will keep the memories, you know, of our young coming of generation fresh with what went wrong with our country, uh, how evil took over our country in such a very delicate manner, a manner in which those that perpetrated those evil did not take into consideration uh, Liberia and its uh, social, economic, and uh, social, economic, and academic status of our nation. A nation that has suffered 90% a high rate of illiteracy for almost all of its lifetime. Based on our social structure, the foundation of the country, and uh, what and things that slip out of the hands of those who funded our nation and uh, and the complexity of the of the nomenclature of the citizenry of that country and you know, uh, like I said the last time uh, brought us to the leverage at which we are at. Uh, April twelfth saw the execution of uh, you know, Liberia's far most visionary president and uh, those that perpetrated such an evil act against our country, uh, disbursed the young additional children in the street uh, to rejoice over their own death. And uh, they, uh, I think in certain aspect of it, they unknowingly and knowingly uh, did what it because it, it was people who perpetrated or uh, all, all of what happened and to go against the funding father in such a dramatic, deadly manner, you know, of executing 17 members of that government system after 130 years with the hope, with the hope in their mind that they was trying to fix our country. Unfortunately, they never had any idea of fixing Liberia, but rather perpetrating political evil in such a, a manner that today the country is suffering the traces of the evil from half-educated people who created a problem for our country. Now they are all dead and we have inherited this country. And God was able to give us a, an additional precedent, a young one, you know, six years of redundant presidency. The redundant in the entire country was redundant for six years. All they knew was to do the very exact thing that they accused the Titan men on the pole, the 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 the, 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 the ravage ravage the country economy, the country money and spend it anyhow and saw the very the nieces and nephew of the indigenous populace of our country suffering in the street and they were even killing them with all in in an in an air of 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 of, of consciousness. And then they felt that it was their birthright to just grab in the library and kill them. The country, out of the war, when the biggest refugee camp, which was Ghana, and God allowed his servant, me, to live there and to see how our people interacted with demonic forces. And that group removed to Liberia, they carried the same idea. Just how the, the children of Israel carried the mentality of the exile fathers or persecutors. That mentality was taken into the promised land. 
at one point God has to step in to cleanse out Israel using prophet Elijah and and and, and in one of the more dramatic uh, uh, spiritual act of God to cleanse Israel of all evil forces it started with a competition to to determine between Jezebel, Ahab, Asherah, and Asherah, yeah, Ahab, Asherah, and Baal. And of course, the servant of God won that competition on Man Kamel to prove the power of God. And, and now we as Liberian, we got a, a, another form of competition to see if the demons that have been imported into Liberia for decades, if that demon versus God, who's going to win Liberia this time around? We got an old president, 79 years old, who grew up in the church. And every time he spoke during his lifetime, he, 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 he called God name and he lived according to God's will as a clean, clean old man from administration to administration, saw rampant corruption and he never got himself involved with that corruption. And God have given him charge over Liberia. And we know that when God act, he come with protection. When he, when he appoint a leader, he come with the, the methods and modes of protecting that leader. When God appointed Elijah, to take charge of removing demons from in, from the promised land, God provided every instrument, spiritual and physical instrument that Elijah needed to remove the demons. And at the end of that competition, eight hundred, according to eight hundred or thousand of demonic forces, those who turned against God, were taken into a valley in slaughter according to God's instruction. Because you got to remove demons. The demons that that that, that, that have taken over a, a nation of God, the demon has to be removed for that country to be safe again. That's why every time I've been calling for the cleansing of the country, I talk about the cleansing. Some people come on my, on my page, they don't even have correct brain. They're talking nonsense. But they and myself, we don't think in the same level because I'm in the, I speak in the spiritual realm and God brings things to me as compared to people who talk rubbish. I'm not talking rubbish. It's not spiritual rubbish. It's not social rubbish. It's the mean spirit way that we can turn to God that gave us that nation to redeem our nation. One of the Boakas administration is starting bad, it's starting looking ugly, people confused, but it will be well because God is not confused like righteous men. God is not confused like righteous men. Wretched men always confused because they, their heart and minds are all wretched. When you put poison in your heart and in your mind, the poison consumes you. But when you put God and Jesus in your mind, this Holy Spirit consume your spirit to make disciples for God. That's the difference between demonized people and God's people. I stopped by here this morning to extend my sympathy to victims of the 19 April 12th massacre that took place in Liberia. And I only can ask God to create an atmosphere that his servant will be given the spiritual power to return home one day and take Jesus on top of Mount Nima, Mount Watergisi, Mount Lofa, the gracious plateaus of head mound that now turn bloody with where our resources, mineral resources, 
it's been deposited for years and people plundering it and and pulling off our gold and diamonds with helicopter transporting it from Cape Man when the people of the country 90 percent in the street suffering and eating leaves and and poisonous stuff just to survive when when billions of dollars mean and, and eject out of a country, small country, that everybody can be paid. If that country resources is, is, is governized for the Liberian people, every Liberian can be paid, can get a check every month, social services check every month, and we can take care of our elderly people if we remove rubbish leadership, leaders, and, and individuals for our country and punish them. They're fighting for the world crime code. But it will take place in the international community. They spend millions, millions of dollars in that country. They will not sit down and allow some misguided Liberian so-called politician to break, to, to let that money go through. They will provide security and the means. And the international judges and lawyers will take over that court. And you will, and those who will be taken in there will come and defend themselves and find them. And when the law free them, you are free. If the law in tribute, you will face your, your, your charges. So that I talk about what happened to Taylor. People think I'm supporting Taylor. I just use Charles Taylor as an example. Where everybody said he caused a problem and he left. Every year the, the, the country had become worse. We're talking about war crime. They see war crime code. It's the one that indicted Charles Taylor alone. When all the other seven, six faction leaders were portraying Rasuma then, God took them away from the country. They died in the process. But they got, they got their, 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 their foundation that they created in that country. And all of them will have to face the charges. And don't waste your time to come and bring, I will listen to Spoon and that old, old man, he come to come talk rubbish. That hustle Senate and representative will not remain like that. There will come a time we'll be looking for lawyers and experienced people. We will conscientize our people in the interior to know who to put to vote for when they come to them in front of them as a representative. We will conscientize our people. They take advantage of the illiteracy and they, 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 they go and fool them and they let them sit in the house to make themselves rich. But the people that are in the two houses that realistic, we know them. They were know them. The rest of the, the bunch of them, they mean nothing for our country. We will take care of you. We will incautionize the people how to vote. That's what we're going to do. What to vote, what to look for the representative when they come in front of them. What to look for before they even think about putting a finger on any paper for them. So I start by this morning for the memory of the April 12th and to extend my sympathy to those people. Wherever they did, it was between they and God. And wherever we do, it between us and God to judge us. We cannot judge people where we, where we capital punishment when we ourselves cannot even keep save ourselves from similar punishment. May God bless our country. May God bless our president, Joseph Buakai, and the angels of heaven will surround that old man and he will get the job if God allow him at this time to become president God will protect him and he will achieve I like what happening it got a bad beginning good it looked sour but to remove demons and to 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 to, to control demons it's not just a baby play all the way you hearing in coming out you're going to see all of that. By the end of the day, there will be quietude. It will be calm. Liberia will be prosperous. Those that will live at that time will be happy that there is a nation. A nation where the whole world turned to. At one point for safety, political prisoners for all over the world were running to Liberia. And it will happen again. They will come running to us and we'll embrace them again. Liberia will rise again. God bless you and have a blessed day. Thank you.